that Steve McMahon is one booking away from suspension. Not that that's likely to interfere with his contest with Reid. That could be the key to the game. Reid is back in the engine room after sitting out last week's draw at Luton. Of the six born and bred Scousers in today's game, four are in that City lineup. Bisley coming over to get involved. Barnes. Instant shot. Element of surprise. Just unhinged Manchester City for a moment. It's a good ball from Redmond. Poynton. Heath. Poynton again. Good break. And Ablett had to be very sharp in. Ward shot. Gobbled up by Grobelar at his near post. Burrows. Whelan. Burrows trying his luck himself and almost caught Andy Dibble napping. He's never scored for Liverpool, David Burrows. Whelan's header was a good one. Barnes to rush. Beardsley now. A little bit isolated. Oh, great skill by Peter Beardsley. Chance for McMahon. Took a deflection and somehow Dibble kept it out. I don't think Steve McMahon's shot was on target, but it took a deflection and suddenly it was on. That's a good ball by Brightwell. Ablett couldn't gather it. Adrian Heath, quit in support with a real chance. Won't come any closer. Now Quinn will know that that's the best opportunity of the match so far. Adrian Heath away from Gary Ablett. And Quinn's long legs stretched out, just couldn't quite find the target. And Fortress Anfield hasn't been breached by a Manchester City sign since 1981. Adrian Heath, Mark Ward, in behind Liverpool, header from Quinn! Well, David White got in his way a little bit. Heath, David White, Looking for Quinn again, great save! Mexon, Ward, brought down, was he? Yes! Roddy Whelan's challenge. And after a long, long look, the referee awards Manchester City a penalty. And Bruce Grobelar will be called upon to repeat that heroic stop, which prevented City taking the lead at the first attempt here through Niall Quinn. But Whelan's tackle was a rather desperate one. A Mark Ward who gave up the penalty-taking responsibilities against Leeds, only to return to the job after Alan Harper had missed, has a really important one here. Oh, and he's good enough, just. Virtually drilled it through Grobelar. 18 minutes of the second half gone, and Manchester City take the lead. Bruce Grobelar beaten for only the second time this season in a first division match here. They almost got to it. Quarter of the match remaining. Manchester City leading by a goal to nil. Peter Beardsley. Shot deflected just wide. Oh, and I fancy that should have been a corner kick. David Burrows again. Now Peter Beardsley. Burrows. Headed by Redmond, Houghton shot! Had to take it first time, couldn't steady himself. So many more scoring opportunities in this second half. Beardsley to Barnes. Now he's got past Brightwell, virtue for the first time. Rush, blocked brilliantly by Ward. Beardsley still. Houghton! Well, there was an amazing block there by Mark Ward inside the six-yard box, which prevented Ian Rush from scoring. Beardsley. That's beautifully played for Barnes. Early cross towards Ian Rush. Redmond there. Corner kick to Liverpool. Reid guarding the near post and doing his best to organise everybody else's business too. Beardsley's corner. Hussein's header. John Barnes. Flick from Ian Rush. Liverpool on terms. Bounce his shot. Turned in by the head of Ian Rush. With just eight minutes to spare.
Drilled in by Barnes, diverted in by Rush. Liverpool level. Time and time again we've seen it in the last ten minutes down at the cop end. Liverpool pulled something out of the fire and Rush it was who scored the goal. Barnes on towards Rush. Right well has only played it into the path of Ronnie Rosenthal. Great chance for the substitute. He may just have stolen the game. It used to be David Fairclough, didn't it? Ronnie Rosenthal's the super sub today. He got clear of Neil Poynton and he was so calm with his finish. And the Israeli striker who made such an impact to the back end of last season when he averaged more than a goal a game gets his first of the new season and wins the game maybe for Liverpool with four minutes to go. Gary Megson, Clive Allen, stoppage time now. Allen tumbled, free kick to Manchester City. Now is there a final twist in the plot I wonder? All hands to the pub here, everybody back. Mark Ward, maybe. Oh, and Grobler had to make a good save. Ward found a way through. But in stoppage time, Bruce Grobler denied him. One last chance, maybe, for Manchester City. Quinn's header, it's in! No, Quinn has saved it! 60 seconds of stoppage time played and Niall Quinn has equalised for Manchester City. Seven games without a goal for the big man and gloriously with that crashing header which gives Manchester City no more than they've deserved from this match and they've got their point only the third team to come to Anfield in 1990 and leave with anything but Niall Quinn snatched it back in stoppage time and Manchester City after a terrific effort here at Anfield have got something out of it and my goodness they merited it oh what a finale and what a match Liverpool 2, Manchester City 2. Did you think you'd blown your chance? Yeah, I did, yeah. There's, you're, I mean, of all teams, when you go 2-1 down against Liverpool with four minutes to go, I mean, you, you sort of say to yourself, well, you know, perhaps that's, that's, your, that's your chance gone. But um, we got the corner and, and thankfully, you know, I was lucky enough that the ball just scraped over Ray Houghton's head. I was lucky he was on the line and not maybe Heysen or one of them.